What's going on, everybody? I know it's been a few days. Been waiting to get some mail to come in. Got a nice little stack here. Um, still have a couple pieces that are supposed to be coming in, but I just haven't. Uh, they probably won't come in until tomorrow and Saturday is my, th I think, offhand. Should have PSA in either tomorrow or Saturday, so another video will be coming out on that. And boy, I crushed some big cards in that. Well, I shouldn't say big, but th there's a couple nice ones in there. But got in some breaks here. Um, think some whatnot pickups. Some crazy stuff. Some crazy stuff. I was just trying to think. I, I even hit a picket select RPA. Believe it or not, finally did it. Probably could have bought four of them by now, though. So let's go ahead and start off with some stuff. I want to make sure this didn't have a coat on. This was out of a break. I was in a steel number break. And, of course, the Steelers were paired up with the Jets. Hit a Brees Hall. Rookie signature memorabilia prism. So, kind of cool there. Figured this is low number, maybe grade it. it looked good. Juju Smith Schuster, White Prism. I think it's out of 35. I am right. Of course, we got a grade to Kenny Pickett. Neon Icons. For a minute there, I thought this one was serial numbered at first. I was like, crap, that one's serial numbered. But it's not. I think the rest are all whatnot pickups. I'll try to say who they're from. I think they're actually kind of in order. So the first one from Whatnot, Indy Brace, got to meet them up at the Monster. Pretty cool guys and everything. Uh, I know there was, it's Indy Brakes and then I think it's Slab God. So I, I don't know whose was whose out of what. But this one is OC, but it's uh, Benchero Stained Glass uh, DP draft picks. I think I'm going to grade this because the price I got it for um, was pretty good. And what a nine sells for, you know, I'd make a couple extra dollars on to it. I mean... I still think this guy's pretty good. I think we're going to see a lot of overcast on Wembyama. And if he does not pan out really quickly, I'd say within like the first two or three months of actual play, I think people are going to start back, some back to either Paulo or they're going to be looking at, uh, what's his name, Scoot Henderson, or there's another person. Just not hitting me. All right, let's keep going on. Another one, Bailey Zappi. I looked this over real quick. I, I don't know if Zappi's going to start this year or not, but I mean, I picked this up dirt cheap. Just to grade it, I know there's going to be somebody probably, if it focuses on eBay, who will probably want this graded, and I'll just make a couple dollars off of it. Again, you make a couple dollars, you know, a hundred times, starts adding up. Uh, yep, next card. This is kind of sick. A little bit of football. Football. Uh-oh, you got football. All right. Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs, Team Materials. This is numbered out of 10. I tried to figure out a price on this whenever I uh, got into the auction, and I marked on my spreadsheet, I roughly did in around 60 to 65% of what I thought the value was at on to it. I know a lot of, I think Josh Allen is really still high priced since he has no Super Bowls, no MVPs, all this other stuff out there. Um... I don't know how much room he'll have once he wins a Super Bowl, how much it's really going to jump up like we've seen pre-COVID when, you know, uh, quarterbacks win a Super Bowl. But I figure somebody out there is going to want to be a big Josh Allen guy. He's like, cool, out of 10, and I can give him a pretty good deal on to this show. Plus, got to start restocking. I got back to almost like, I think there are two or three weeks apart shows up in Louisville, uh, August and September. So still a lot of time. So this card here, at one time frame, was Pure One Sports. It sold at $200. I picked this up around $80-some dollars with shipping. Of course, I had multiple things on to it. But it's the Clubhouse Collection Mike Trout PSA 10 Relic. Very, very hard grades as a 10. Um, as you can see the back, the back usually what gets you the most on to it. But overall, it looks really nice. We'll see what I can get for it, you know. Maybe I'll have to hold out till a big trout guy comes along onto it. You know, sees the value of 199, they might offer me like 170, 175 cash type deal. If not, that's eh, a cool piece to hold on to. I'm not into it for a lot. Okay, next, Corm Collectibles, Mike Trout Bowman 2012. These have dropped so much. So much. I, Joe on eBay, and just look at her. If you guys use Card Ladder or. Freaking uh, sports card investors, weird app, and all that stuff. Look at the graphs. These are really, really, really low. I want to say 
they're somewhere between like 50 and maybe 65 dollars tops and i'm just i was just shocked by it i figured what the heck god cheap finally off of polo 58th there was another card but i ended up sending it off to somebody so i don't have it for the video because it was sitting here for a while out of 49 jaja 25 game suspension impeccable shot still sealed but I know it had a little bit of whiting up here just from the pictures. You can see a little bit of white corner. If I wanted to mail it in and get a 9, not, or nine with a 10 auto, I probably could. But I'm just leaving it still by Panini. Uh, when I see stuff like that that has a little bit of a blemish on it, I don't even take the chance on to it. But pretty cool overall. There are some other things that will be coming in. Got the show on Saturday. So hopefully get to pick up a ton of stuff there. I'm just trying to look to make sure... Yeah, there's just one, two more cards coming in the mail. Three, three. I forgot about the other one from last night. And then I have some uh, break stuff where I had the Steelers. And you guys could see my Kenny Pickett Select RPA come out. The true RPA. But other than that, pretty much it. Till hopefully pick up PSA tomorrow. I'll try to get that video out for you guys Saturday. We'll get the show video put together. I might try playing around now that I have a little bit more free time on to... Uh, Maybe doing some shorts. I think that's what it's called. YouTube shorts. And maybe where I, you know, talk about a deal for 30 seconds I did or something like that. I don't know. We'll fig I'll figure it out. But that is really about it that I could think of off the top of my head. I know there's a lot going on every which way. Uh, I know a lot of people have asked me about whatnot. I have a ton of cards for whatnot. I just don't want to sit there and have to list individual cards. So... Be on the lookout. I'll post on the community chat here on YouTube and on Discord when I decide to do this. There'll be player lots and just individual lots and single cards, stuff like that there. And I think the way I'm going to do it is either single singles or lot one, and it'll just go up like that there. Instead of taking all the time and having to list all that stuff out and taking like, gosh, I'm not lying. It'd probably take me three, four hours to do it all. That's just how much stuff it is. So I'll uh, be on the lookout for that. I know, like I said, a lot of people have been asking about it. I think we'll run some jerseys. Those, of course, I'll have a picture and have them to buy it now. And then we'll uh, turn them into some type of auction. Maybe start them off at like 20 25 bucks a pop or something. But other than that, that is pretty much it with me. I Oh, I was going to tell you guys. I think we're going to run that big auction 4th of July weekend. So 4th of July is on that Tuesday. You guys let me know. They usually come in too. And I'll probably send some messages out if you want me to do it Saturday or Sunday. That way I could ship it out Monday because I'm off. Tuesday's a federal holiday. Um, I don't want to do it July 4th because we're all going to be drinking and probably shooting fireworks. That'll be craziness then. But yeah, if you guys do the uh, whatnot with me and stuff like that, just it'll be the... Or the, like I said, 4th of July is on Tuesday or that Saturday or Sunday before it. I'm going to build the stream up. Um, there'll be some buy it now stuff into it, but a lot of this stuff, it'll be like this here. I'll show you. There's just a stack right here. So like a Drew Brees, Blue Prism, die cut. I know it's serial numbered. Lindor Rookie, some vintage. Got in here. Kareem Hunt Green Rookie. It won't 10. Um, Evan Green, Holiday, Foreman, Fournette, Connor. They just my notes. Zay Jones, four red, white, and blues. Some Jordan, Halliburton, Hank Aaron, who has writing on the back. Drew Brees, stuff like that there. It'll be in watch and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that. I'll make a post whenever I do it, though, and probably in the community forum. I might even do a quick video on it as well. Better than that, guys. Blabbing way too long for a quick show and tell. Catch y'all later.